So, do you ever find yourself in like a creepy island in the middle of Ireland? That's like um, Tuesday. But also, it's the subject of our book that we're reviewing today called The Guest List. This is by Lucy Foley, mm -hmm. and it is a thriller murder mystery. Why don't you jump in, since we both read this book, jump right yeah. in and so, tell us. So, this book is a murder mystery and a wedding at a creepy old house. Well, hotel that used Resort. to be a house. Resort that, area, kind that, of. That used to be a fort. That used to be a... Cormorant Island is what it's currently called, although there is a Welsh name for it that I can't pronounce. And there, this is a well-to-do wedding. And I gotta say, speaking of Cormorant Island, uh, the last time I heard about Cormorants, I was reading Island of the Blue Dolphins. Anyone remember that book from, like, childhood? And I was like, Cormorant? What? I've heard this in a long time, yeah. so that kind of took me back to Yeah. <laughs> so this is a well-to-do uh, couple that's getting married. Uh, the bride runs an online fashion magazine, and mm -hmm. the groom is... Uh, he, he's a he's, TV star. He's a TV star Reality for a kind of survival... Yeah. Yeah. Bit. Yeah. Like, he, he's Bear Grylls. Yeah. Basically. And... The story is told first from a narrator that is in the present mm -hmm. as they are discovering that a murder has happened. Then you're getting all the events leading up to that from the perspectives of different people that go to the wedding. So you are never given a full view of everything mm -hmm. at the same time. Right. Um... I'm going to say I really liked a lot of these characters. You don't at first, though. There's some that no. you're like, hmm, I don't know if I like you. But I really think a lot of them got redemption because you got further insight into what it was that was plaguing them or following them or whatever. It really becomes more clear as the book goes on how all of these characters are connected. Each chapter has clues that it just you know, drops a little bit. If you're not paying attention and, like, you get to the end of the book and be like, oh, yes, that's the genius of this book, is, you know, as you're reading it, you're like, what? I don't, okay, fine, it's a story, whatever. But then when you get to the end of the book and you're like, yes, the way it all just comes together is just amazing. So, yeah, that's, that's the basic story without giving too much more away about this book of what it is. The, there is one thing that I, I think is very genius about this that I've never seen before in a murder mystery. I've had it so many times. You don't know who the murderer is until the end. You might not even know how they did it until the end. Mm -hmm. But how many times has it been that you don't even know who the victim is until the end? And I think that's the true genius of this book. I gave this book five stars. Here, five more stars. Enjoy those. <laughs> so we both obviously really like this book a lot. Have you read this book? I know it's making the rounds around uh, the community. So let me know down below if you have read it or if you want to read it. Yeah, but until next time. Stay zany. Bye-bye.